Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum and greetings, Salishan Mo here. Welcome to my little man cave and more RC video reviews. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about and obviously review the all new Sky RC Extreme PSU, the power supply unit, which is 1080 watt maximum power, adjustable voltage from 13.8 to 18 volt, and up to 60 amp uh, current provided to your chargers like ISDTP30 and other chargers that do not have built-in power supply and chargers like ISDTP30 which you're going to use to charge bigger batteries, bigger bricks. That is, you're going to charge those big batteries at higher amps over 5, over 10 or maybe 15 amps or so. Basically, this charger can provide lots of amp up to 25 amp if I'm right uh, with its specs. So when it comes to charge bigger batteries at higher amps, uh, you definitely need a power supply that is capable of delivering that power to your charger so that things will not heat up and you will have proper charging on your batteries. Previously I have introduced this cheaper power supply unit which gives you up to 100 amp and 12 volt output on 220 volts and does a very good job. It did the job honestly very well but when I was charging 2x 6s 3300 milliamp batteries at 3.3 amp per battery this was getting extremely hot it was getting very very hot i had to put it on the ground and turn on the air conditioning in the room it is cheap it does the job but if you really want something more quality with better protection systems in it and of course better power supply to your charges to charge bigger batteries you might want to look at something even better now 407 us dollars i believe this is a bargain here so let me bring the camera closer and give you a closer look at the extreme psu by sky rc we'll talk about its features and look at what it can do and obviously i'm going to charge two of my 5200 million new 6s batteries that i bought for my uh you know kds 550 helicopter and i will be using isddp 30 charger obviously powered by extreme psu right here and charge these two batteries and we'll see how things go first off the build i like the build complete metal shell it's like a complete big heat sink right here so it will dissipate the heat really really nice especially if you're working in an air conditioning room this is gonna keep really cool while you are powering your charger and charging the batteries at this side also they have provided a nice big fan as you can see here which provides a very good cooling all the way in and obviously here also you have and at this side you also have a fan so this these two fans basically provide a very good channeling of wind inside over the components that might be getting hot now this is a, once again 1080 watt max power switchable or selectable 13.8 to 18 volt 60a power supply amps i'm not sure switchable or selectable but output is definitely selectable now here will be the input that is the power coming from your uh, wall outlet on off switch right here and this is the part that i like at this side as you can see you have a main output which actually gives 60 amps max output and this is where i'm going to connect my isddp 30 using this xt60 connector and cable now I, i'm sure that some people did now i'm sure some people did ask that you should use a thicker cable this is only 14 awg you should use 10 awg or something but for charging i believe this cable is enough because i'm not gonna use more than 30 amps uh, honestly speaking mostly i will be charging on 5 amps or so so basically 10 to 15 amps maximum that i'll be using i don't have those big bricks at the moment now here you can see you have three on off switches and three different and three more channels which can give you maximum 10 amp output and you can connect three more different charges to this power supply to charge the batteries using those charges if you're not going to use more than 10 amp these channels will provide enough power to those smaller charges so to say at the moment you will be able to use four different charges and you know power them all and charge lots of batteries together not sure how hot it will be but it should work also you can see right here a switch a small like a knob inside that you're going to use that you're going to turn with a small screwdriver and this is basically the volt adjustment you can adjust the volt voltage from here powering the charger is really really simple all i need to do is 
uh, I had to make a connector because uh, this one takes XT90 connector, the ISDDP30, and that's it. This is your connection, very, very easy connection. And now if I power it on, it will power the charger, and we're going to start charging the batteries for that. So let's just do it. All right, this is my charging area, and I definitely don't like it because it's a lot of wood that is just waiting to catch fire. And then, you know, batteries laying here, batteries laying down there, batteries laying down there. So I really, really don't like this area. What I'm planning to do is, if I pull the camera a little back, I want to build... Uh, in my woodworking workshop, obviously you have watched my DIY woodworking TV channel. I want to build a bigger and nicer table that will become my battery charging uh, station right there and also the repair and you know soldering station at the same time. Build an area on that table, something that is fireproof. Either laid with all these fireproof bags as a base on it and sides on it. So I will be able to charge the batteries without worries. But anyway, once again, when it comes to charging batteries, I always stay in the room watching the batteries all the time. Okay, so here we are. Let's turn the power on. The charger is on. I see 17.8 volt here. I believe that's the input coming to the charger. Okay. Um, and if I move that little switch, I may be able to put down, I may be able to see this value change. So at the moment, I'll just keep it to this maximum. So this actually set it max on maximum volts. That is 18 volts. All right, it's time to charge the batteries and uh, let's do Bismillahirrahmanirrahim because just yesterday I soldered new connectors on these. I have to double check. Uh, well, here goes nothing. Positive, negative, uh, positive, negative. Okay, so, and I just don't like the connections, the way they provided the connections. Now you see, I am unable to actually, uh, struggling actually to connect the, you know, uh, parallel or uh, balance port right here. Okay, one battery connected. That was nice. No fire or nothing. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Second one. Plus, minus. Plus, minus. And here goes nothing. Second one connected. And get closer, please, so I can connect. Okay, one more thing I really dislike that when you put your hands, it's actually, you know, the things are actually just doing. I, I wish there was a way to lock the screen or these, uh, you know, touch buttons. So, excuse me, I'm going to be in front of the camera because I need to connect this to the right place. Okay, so I have 3.8, 3.8, 3.8, all 3.8 volts. So, I'm going to give this a start at, let's say... Because this is a very first charge, I do not like to charge the very first time at very high current. So I'm just going to keep it to, let's say, 2.3 amps, all right? This is my, like, favorite amps to give. So give 2.3 amps and start. And then we come here, same way, dot. okay? Now, both of the batteries are charging. And as you can see that this uh, power supply also provides over current and over temperature protection, which is very, very nice. And if anything happens, it will just cut off the power automatically and we have to reset the power supply. So it has started charging, no fan working at the moment. Obviously, air conditioning is on in this room and I'll just leave it right here and keep an eye on it and see how things go. At the moment, you can see if I zoom in, my charger is actually draining 2.3, 2.3 amps. I can always increase the amps to 5 because these are 5,000 milliamp batteries. Okay, so we can always increase the amps to 5.5, uh, 5.2 or 5.5 5 amps. Um, I can always do that. I can go to here and, oh sorry, this button, current to 5. Okay, I will already go up. Here, current to 5. Now, obviously 10 amps are being drained, maybe more, I'm not sure. 
and we will see if power supply is getting heat up or not. I'm sure it's getting enough amps and enough juice to power or to charge all these batteries. Okay, so batteries are fine. No heat, nothing at the moment. Charger is fine. Even the fan is not on. So to say, I really love this power supply. It, it, it's really well built. It does the job and gives all the juice, all the power that your charger actually requires to charge bigger batteries. The extreme PSU is like kind of breathing. The fan turns on, turns off, turns on, turns off. Not constantly turns on like the other chargers do. See, you can hear it. But uh, in between, as I said, I don't like to charge the batteries for the very first time at higher amps. So in between, I did give them 3.3 amps and 4 amps okay, to each battery. Now it's down to 2.4, 2.4 amps and it's balancing the cells. Batteries are 99% charged, both of them. And they're almost gonna, and they are gonna be ready. It's been 50 minutes for the temperature. It's just slightly warm. It's, it's not even there. I mean, it's just slightly warm. See, wherever I touch. Here's cool. Here's slightly warm. Here's slightly warm. So, I'm really happy how the way the power supply is working right here. Definitely a two thumbs up product right here. And coupled with a P30 smart charger from ISDT, it does make an expensive combo. $189, $107. But you get something that is gonna do the job to charge the big bricks or even bigger batteries than these very very well at higher amps without worries now I gotta I gotta make some more connectors because I wanna power my other chargers out of this as well and you know um, this one Sky RCT200 will retire now and uh, my ISDT 608AC and uh, Toolkit RC M8S are gonna sit right there and you know I can power the Toolkit RC with this one and also charge some smaller batteries very quickly.